do aliens exist? And have they visited planet Earth? These are perhaps the most important questions of our time. Skeptics say seeing is believing, but many experts say they have already seen enough. There were bodies that were seen at Roswell Army Airfield. So you have to ask, if it really was a weather balloon, which is unmanned, that had crashed, where did the bodies come from? For decades, eyewitnesses have come forward with unsettling stories of alien bodies recovered from crashed UFOs. Some have even provided detailed accounts of military doctors conducting alien autopsies in top-secret government installations. But is it true? Does the government possess alien remains? And why is this information being kept from the public? Join us as we uncover the truth about alien remains and reveal the shocking secrets hidden inside their bodies on Unsealed Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Virginia, Brazil, January 20, 1996. Three women spot a small figure stumbling through the streets in the early morning hours. It's not an unusual sight here, but on closer inspection, this is no late-night partygoer wending their way home after a long night on the town. In fact, it isn't even human. The women flee in fear, but not before getting a good look at the creature. They later describe it as five feet tall, with brown skin, a large head, and red eyes. Two days later, a similar creature is discovered dead in the street and is quickly recovered by Brazilian security forces. Over the next three weeks, they reportedly capture seven more creatures in the area. The incidents receive international coverage. Many speculate that a UFO crashed in the area, and in a bizarre twist, all alien remains were turned over to representatives from the United States. Why would Brazilian officials hand over such a monumental discovery? Was it voluntary? Or were they forced? Beyond a living specimen, alien bodies remain the most compelling evidence of intelligent life on other planets. If their existence is ever made public, it would change how we see the universe forever and could incite panic around the world. According to experts, it's this fear that has motivated the U.S. government to develop recovery tactics to ensure all alien remains stay top secret. Insider accounts reveal these operations to be highly coordinated and have the highest level of secrecy. They have been going on much longer than most would expect. Unsealed case file. The Kingman Incident. 1973. Veteran UFO investigator Ray Fowler is contacted by a man with an incredible story to tell. His name is Arthur Stansel. In a sworn affidavit, Stansel states that in the early 1950s, he was an Air Force engineer designing landing gear and studying the effects of nuclear blasts on buildings. But on May 21st, 1953, he was set on an assignment unlike any before. Stanzel found himself on a military plane bound for Phoenix with 15 other specialists. Their task was yet to be revealed. Arriving in Phoenix, the team was ushered aboard a school bus with blacked out windows. Their destination was to remain a secret, permanently. En route, they were given a briefing by a ranking officer who told them a top secret Air Force aircraft had crashed and that they were to conduct a forensic investigation of the site. Stanzel's task was to determine the velocity and angle of descent at the time of impact. Four hours later, they arrived at their destination that the engineer estimated to be somewhere near Kingman, Arizona. The mystery only deepened when Stanzel first laid eyes on the craft. It was disc-shaped, some 30 feet in diameter, with the convex top and bottom. During his investigation, the engineer noticed a tent nearby with a military policeman standing guard. 
Inside, he saw the body of a humanoid creature in a silver suit. Its skin was dark brown, and on its head was a metallic skull cap. Finishing their investigation, Stanzel and the other specialists were quickly ushered from the site. They were ordered to say nothing of the incident. It was the last Arthur Stansel ever saw of the Kingman creature. Did the United States government recover alien remains? And if so, why is this information being kept from the public? Coming up, we reveal a recently declassified document that confirms the government's interest in alien remains and investigate the incidents that may have inspired its creation. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Reports suggest that for decades, the United States government has aggressively pursued the recovery of alien remains from UFO crash sites, both at home and abroad, under an intense veil of secrecy. It's an accusation Washington has consistently denied, but a recently released document may blow the lid off this conspiracy once and for all. Unsealed case file. The Guy Hottle Memo. Quantico, Virginia, April 2011. The FBI's website is flooded by traffic after the release of a secret memo addressed to former FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. Guy Hottle was a former special agent in charge of the FBI's Washington field office. In a memo dated March 22, 1950, he records an eyewitness account of a 1947 incident that has since become a milestone in human history. The recovery of flying saucers crashed in the deserts of New Mexico. Hottle states, they were described as being circular in shape with raised centers approximately 50 feet in diameter. Each one was occupied by three bodies of human shape, but only three feet tall dressed in metallic cloth of a very fine texture. The release of the memo sent shockwaves throughout the worldwide UFO community. It finally confirms what independent investigators have long suspected, that the US government has proof that extraterrestrials exist, but has deliberately kept it hidden from the world. But one burning question remained. What incident was Huttle referring to? Was it the infamous Roswell crash? Or was it another, lesser known incident? 1947 saw an intense wave of UFO activity across the New Mexico desert. Unsealed case file. The Plains of San Agustin. The Plains of San Agustin, New Mexico. Summer, 1947. A retired rancher is driving along a remote country road when he sees what appears to be a child. Fearing for the child's safety, he pulls over. But as the rancher approaches, he sees it bears no resemblance to any youngster he has ever seen. It has unusually large eyes, but no ears. Its hands show four long fingers, but no thumbs, and is wearing a strange gray coverall. Seeing that it appears frightened and confused, the rancher helps the strange figure into his truck and takes it home. Returning home, he and his wife offer their guest food and water, but it refuses and seems content to remain silent in its chair. The couple contacts the county sheriff's department, who make detailed notes of the rancher's story. They agree to send a deputy the following day, but when the couple rises in the morning, their strange guest has disappeared. The incident would seem destined to become a footnote in local folklore, were it not for another incident that happened just days before. Barney Barnett, an official with the U.S. Soil Conservation Service, is working on the plains when he discovers a strange disk, some 30 feet in diameter, only a few miles from where the rancher would soon discover his strange child. Barnett claims to have discovered at least three strange-looking bodies among the wreckage. They look like children with large heads and gray coveralls. But none appear to be alive. Shortly after Barnett's discovery, an army detachment arrives and cordons off the scene. Barnett watches as they quickly load the disc and the bodies onto trucks. 
they disappear, leaving no clue as to where the bodies were being taken. But many experts believe they now know what happened. The National Security Establishment set up high-powered scientific teams to study these uh, technologies, but because the technologies were so far advanced of uh, human engineering, uh, our scientific principles at the time, there was great difficulty in understanding these technologies and more importantly, reverse engineering them for possible weapons application. But alien technology is just one part of the conspiracy equation. Important questions remain. What happened to the bodies? Where were they taken? And what was their ultimate fate? Coming up, we follow the trail of alien remains to the most unexpected destination imaginable and learn their gruesome fate. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Mounting evidence suggests that the United States government has long been engaged in a clandestine program to recover any and all alien remains resulting from crashed UFOs. But according to many experts, the operations don't end there. In fact, recovery is just the beginning of a bizarre odyssey with a grisly end. Roswell, New Mexico, July 2nd, 1947. Multiple witnesses report a UFO falling from the night sky in the desert outside Roswell, New Mexico. The Army dispatches a team to the crash site, but nothing could have prepared them for what they would find. There was a problem that they have yet to address even over six decades later, and there were witnesses, one of which came out and said that there were bodies that were seen at Roswell Army Airfield. So you have to ask, if it really was a weather balloon, which is unmanned, that had crashed, where did the bodies come from? Over time, however, many witnesses will claim they attempted to access the crash site that night, only to be turned back by soldiers who threatened them with physical harm if they told anyone what they saw. The Army clearly had something to hide. According to some sources inside the military, the wreckage and alien bodies were first transported to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio before finding a permanent home deep in the Nevada desert inside the impenetrable confines of Area 51. But others tell a very different story. They claim that one or more of the bodies was transported in secret to another location for history's first alien autopsy. Unsealed case file. The Roswell Autopsy. Washington, D.C. The Walter Reed Army Medical Center. It's here in the nation's capital where at least one of the Roswell aliens is rumored to have been brought for post-mortem examination by the nation's top scientists. The procedure allegedly produced a series of stunning revelations about alien physiology, starting with the creature's abdomen. It had no digestive system, it had a respiratory system, but it had no stomach, no alimentary canal, nothing. These features could explain the behavior of the San Augustine creature, suggesting that it and the Roswell aliens are of the same species. The intrigue continues with the removal of the creature's eyes. When they autopsied the aliens at Walter Reed, one of the things that the medical examiners discovered was that that black coating over the eye wasn't part of the eye, it was a lens. When they removed the lens, they could see in images in the dark. The lens was a light-collecting device. It was night vision. But the most shocking of all is the creature's brain, one radically different from our own. Instead of two hemispheres, the alien brain is divided into four. Investigators observing the procedure take careful note of their position. They have seen this pattern before. So the alien's hands were on a panel, and we noticed this in the crash wreckage, you could see that there were handprints on the panels where the aliens would put their hands. So somehow, their designs from their brain made their way from the headpiece into the panels that was connected to the ship. The investigators now believe that the Roswell extraterrestrial controlled their spacecraft through direct metal interface. But this isn't the last connection investigators will make between alien and machine. Coming up, 
we reveal the final shocking revelation to come from America's alien autopsy program. One that may change the way we see alien life forever. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Decades of eyewitness testimony have revealed that America has long been involved in an elaborate conspiracy to recover alien bodies and probe them for scientific secrets. But what have they learned from these autopsies? Some experts have a terrifying theory that completely changes everything we ever thought about aliens. Linda Moulton Howe is an investigative journalist and ufologist who has spent decades collecting evidence surrounding alien autopsies dating back to Roswell. She presented her findings to the 2013 Citizens Hearing on UFOs in Washington, D.C. In my work, I think one of the most interesting revelations that came to me was for the first time, actually, only about the early 1990s, I began to hear through leads that in some of the early autopsy, they weren't even cutting into what we would consider to be tissue. It was some sort of a fabric that was either covering tissue, but it was a fabric and it was very difficult for the scalpels to go through. The artificial nature of alien bodies has led Howe and a growing number of other experts to believe that many of the extraterrestrials we encounter are not individual creatures, but rather a kind of manufactured clone. So of course I've said that there was an autopsy of an alien gray at Walter Lawn Hospital in 1947, and the autopsy showed that the gray was an android. It was simply an android, a programmed android, that had a specific algorithmic function. It was there to um, surveil, to record, to take whatever information it could, even to abduct human beings, and report to those who controlled it. Could the aliens we encounter actually be clones? And if they are, who created them? Are they under the control of a single immensely powerful intelligence? And if so, what is its plan for the human race? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.